Tonight, sick and tired, the Port Augusta councillor calling for a three strikes and you're out policy to curb the city's antisocial behaviour. And almost back to the pre-COVID normal. Tourism in the Air Peninsula exceeding expectations. From our seven Spencer Gulf Studios, your nightly news with Madeline Kerr begins now. Good evening, thanks for joining us. The antisocial behaviour problem in Port Augusta continues to dominate the local elections, with one councillor calling for tougher penalties for those who continuously break the dry laws. John Naisbitt says it could be the only way to curb the behaviour. Councillor John Naisbitt is calling for a three strikes policy to curb Port Augusta's antisocial behaviour. First with a warning, then a major fine, followed by removal from the city if they're not local. Most of these people that are causing our, our antisocial problem aren't from here, they're from the lands, out Alice Springs way. Now, if that's the case, they are exported back there, not allowed back in Port Augusta City Council area, 12 months. If they are back in here, within that 12 months, it's straight incarceration. The councillor says his idea isn't racist. Our locals are absolutely disgusted and they, they just, they're sick and tired of it as much as what we are. You know, so I'm, I'm, not being, um, I'm not being racist about this. I'm just telling the straight out truth that's a problem in Port Augusta. The proposal has received mixed responses. It's another issue that's really hard to solve. I mean, these people come down to Port Augusta and, and they're not really breaking any law. So you, you can't just, you know, treat them badly. Um, but I'm hoping that the, new, the money that the state government's just given out to, uh, to address this issue, we need to give that a chance to work. Fortunately, these people, and everyone knows what the problem is, it's the alcohol. And, the, and because they can't drink on the lands, we've got that problem. Why not build a, uh, a, a canteen style thing outside of their lands so they don't have to come all this way down? It, you know, it may help, but it, then again, it could cause the same problem we've got here. Tying into the antisocial behaviour, Councillor Nisbet has reiterated his calls to close the Coles Underground car park at night. It's rank. The, uh, the, the people, because it's a, a very uh, safe undercover area, these people um, that, uh, and this is our problem, there's nowhere for these people to actually go to call, or not, not home, but a holiday area for them while they're here. So they use anywhere. Daniel Pizarro, 7 Spencer Golf News.